Hey guys, welcome to the new year 2017. I've got a pretty cool project uh, right here for you. I'm going to tell you all about it in a minute. But first up, I just want to thank everybody who's helped me uh, get this channel started by subscribing already. So I'm going to uh, name off these first 11 subscribers I've got. If I say your name wrong, I'm very sorry. Peter Dvorak. Mega Patrol 1, Ragaloop, the Telesar 2, Felix Nana Yakara, Bai Skadesh, Duck Trin Hong, and Shady Dens. I really appreciate you guys, and uh, I hope more people will subscribe because I think we have a pretty fun channel here. Anyway, on to the project for today. What we have here is a laser trip alarm and I'm going to teach you how to make it it's really simple let's zoom in here all right. hey captain should don't want to focus try again mr. Scott come on focus uh, I guess that's what we're getting Damn, that's a shame. All right, anyway, we have an LDR, a light dependent resistor, also known as a photo resistor. We have a buzzer, a couple of LEDs, and an Arduino Nano. So let's get our zoom going here. All right, there we go. So the LDR goes to, well, this one does because it's on a breakout board. It goes to 5 volts. It goes to ground. And then we have a signal wire that comes over to analog zero on the Arduino. Now, if you don't have one on a breakout board like this, you're going to need to use, say, a 10K resistor and create a voltage divider. Next, we have our buzzer plus 5 volts or ground plus 5 volts and the signal wire comes over here connected to D4 then we have two LEDs we have a green LED for when the system is armed and safe and we've got a red LED for when the system has been triggered we have a 220 uh, ohm resistor on the anodes and the cathodes go directly to ground from the LED anode through the resistor, the green one goes to D2, and the red one goes to D3. Other than the code, the only other thing you need to do to build this project is you're going to need a laser diode that you are going to aim into the LDR. So let's take a look at the code, and then we'll come back and try it out. All right, here we go with boot for our laser tripwire. This is the laser tripwire arm by me, Learn Electronics, written today, January 2nd, 2017. And you can see I've, I've divided the code up into sections here, and I think that'll make it easier for people to understand. So our first section are our declarations. We're going to define the safe LED on pin 2 and that's the green LED for when it's not triggered. We're going to define alert LED as pin 3 and that's the red LED for when the alarm is tr triggered. Excuse me. We're going to define the buzzer on pin 4. That's the buzzer for the alarm. And we're going to find the define the LDR on analog 0. That's our light dependent resistor and in this case it is our super sensitive laser sensor. Declare an integer value LDR value and we're going to declare an integer called alarm state. Yes I know this can be boolean but I want to keep this easier for beginners and I don't want to get into boolean yet. Okay so this section is all our declarations. Next up is our setup. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to turn 
all of our output pins to output, so safe LED output, alert LED output, and buzzer to output. Then we're going to turn on our serial comms. You're going to need to do this so that you can adjust your trigger point. You're going to need to see what the LDR reads without the laser and with the laser and make a decision. Next we're going to turn our safe LED on high and delay for 2000. Now you might want to adjust this up to you know as much as 30 seconds or so. This is the delay. Once this delay expires we jump into the main part of the program and the alarm is active. Next we create a function called alarm and this is what's going to happen when the alarm is triggered. First thing that's going to happen is alarm state is going to be changed to 1. Now we come back here to the beginning of the program we have set alarm state to 0 but once we are actually in the alarm that alarm state has been set to 1 and nowhere else in the program does it change its value so once the alarm has been triggered it will remain triggered until you reset the system alright next we will turn our alert LED on so digital right alert LED high and we'll turn our safe LED off then we'll play some annoying sounds e -ooh, e -ooh. now it only does that once and you're gonna say well I want a longer alarm but aha you see once the alarm is triggered it keeps repeating and the way it does that let's come down here to our main loop the first thing the program does is check if the alarm state equals one and if it does it just jumps right back to alarm state so that alarm is like I said is going to continue repeating until you reset it so if the alarm state isn't one which means it's zero then we jump down here and we say LDR value equals an analog read of LDR that's where we're getting the value and we're going to print it out to the serial port and that is just so that we can get a reading and make make our decision for where the threshold should be in my case the threshold is a hundred without the um, the laser pointing at it it reads about 150 with the laser pointing at it it's reading about 50 so 100 seemed like a good spot so if LDR is greater than 100 we go to alarm and you know what happens then boom alarm state equals 1 and we never leave but if it's less than 100 then we hit the else portion of the program we make sure safe LED is on high and we rerun the loop very simple program alright let's go check out how it works alright I power it up the green light has turned on which means it is armed and I'm sure you can see the uh, the laser bouncing around there on the LDR but if we break that beam the alarm goes on and the alarm will continue until you reset the nano or whatever Arduino you're using I think it's pretty cool and this is going to be the basis the actual first element in a home security and automation series that I'm going to build so if you like it and you want to see more and you like listening to trains go by outside my window give me a thumbs up share it and if you haven't subscribed yet what the heck are you waiting for it's a new year click the subscribe button